check this out. This is my shit. This is my <laughs> shit. Hey everybody, Dixon back. You know, about, what, 600 years ago, white supremacy wasn't really a thing. Um, 600 years ago, it was just, there were human beings in the world. There were just people. Some from Africa, some from Europe, some from Asia. They're just people. And then the Europeans began to um, go exploring. They, 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 their ships were able to go all over the world. And so they got greedy as fuck. And they had the musket. And uh, 1455, the Roman Catholic Church made a law. And they, they split. Uh, they gave Portugal the right to the west coast of Africa. And they gave them the right to enslave Africans to plunder them, to rape them, to rob them, and steal from anything they wanted from them. The Roman Catholic Church started the whole goddamn thing. And then, uh, of course, they gave Spain the right to go out into the New World, conquer, steal, gold, land, whatever they want to do, rape, murder. And that's exactly what they did. And that's exactly it. It started, you know, over 500 years ago. Today's 2020, and this is 1455. And the first um, ship... Uh, 1526, the first uh, slave ship from Portugal landed in Brazil, and um, the whole goddamn thing began, and uh, that's how we got where we are, and so why did white supremacy start? To justify the greed. Portugal and all these European, France, England, the Netherlands, the Dutch, all these people, the Europeans, decided to proclaim that white people were superior, and therefore had the right to imperialize, to colonize, to steal and enslave and rape and murder. And all these things were justified in the name of white superiority in that we can have dominance over all black and brown people by nature. And that was the myth and the lie that was started to justify the European greed and evil. Uh, check this out. This that shit's been shit. running for 500 <laughs> fucking years. Shit. Here we are now, 2020. And white people are still a bunch of fucking white supremacists. Not a goddamn thing has changed. The only thing that's changed is the technology. You can see racism now. I saw a video of um, 25 year old uh, Ahmad Aubrey being hunted down, tracked, and lynched by three uh, racists. That was a mob, that was a lynching. And it's a felony lynching, which is against the law. Now it's against the law. It didn't used to be. The civil rights laws passed. There's something called felony lynching. It's a hate crime. And uh, anyhow, he was murdered. Uh, by the way, Maude Aubrey was a hell of a warrior. He fought for his life, and he lost that day. But uh, his mom said, I hope his killers get the death penalty. And you know, I don't believe in the death penalty because our justice system so fucked up. But in this case... Let those motherfuckers fry. Because without accountability, uh, check this out. This is my without shit. white accountability, this without is my shit. accountability, this shit will repeat itself. So there has to be accountability applied to all racists. And I mean all forms, the covert, the overt, the passive. And you know, the thing, white supremacy, and I've said this many times before, but here we are. And, and that's the whole thing about white supremacy, is it all comes down to greed economics and privilege and dominance that's what white people that's what this nation America was built on was that this country was built exclusively for white people and that's a fact that always was they don't say that they didn't openly state it but obviously it's true and that's how white privilege works a white person today in 2020 can go jogging down the fucking street, can walk into a house in construction and not be hunted down and fucking lynched in the fucking street. That shit doesn't fucking happen. A 12-year-old boy, Tamir Rice, playing with a little toy gun, if that had been a white kid, the cop would have said, hey, buddy, what are you doing? Instead of race into a fucking park, jump out of the car and execute a young child. Emmett Till, going back... 40, 50, 60 years ago. All he did was walk into a fucking store and the white lady lied and said, he's harassing me. Lynched. 
this is how white supremacy works. And the other way white supremacy works, and what we're indoctrinated to do from, from birth, all of us, no matter who you are, if you are white, you are taught this shit, and you're taught it either directly or indirectly, consciously or unconsciously, you're taught it. And you're taught it by all kinds of different ways, all kinds of different messages, but it's taught. And there's all kinds of proof that it's taught. But we're taught to not give a fuck about our brothers and sisters that are black and brown. To not give a fuck about anybody outside of white. That's why that screaming silence you hear, or that you don't hear, from white folks when there's lynchings and when there's huge, crazy injustices happening. In 2015, black people were five times more likely, unarmed black people were five times more likely to die from being killed by the police than white people. Today, I think it's 2.5. That's crazy. They're being lynched. They're being, if they're not being lynched by the police, they're being lynched by right, white, Trump-loving, Christian, white motherfuckers. And by the way, it's always been Christians, white Christians, that's behind this shit. The Roman Catholic Church started the whole goddamn thing. Look it up, folks. They started the whole fucking thing. The indigenous genocide, the black holocaust, the Atlantic slave trade, the transatlantic slave trade. It was a Roman Catholic church supporting all that shit. And if you look at today, look at the, look at the, um, the, the, the people who killed Ahmaud Arbery. Christians, white Christians. They're racist. White Christians are largely racist and fucking hypocrites. White Jesus has been used to kill millions of people, indigenous people, and it's still going on today. And I'm not against Christianity. I'm against the way Christianity has been used. And I'm against white Jesus. White Jesus is a fucking lie. Even the Bible says Jesus wasn't fucking white. It's all fucking lie. So all you white Christians out there that are racist, fuck you. You fucking low down fucking hypocrite. Check yourself. Check your fucking racism. And all the other white people in the world that remain silent. 